What engine and design specs state that if the dilithium crystals weren't fractured and the test equipment used is within calibration, then the only way the engine efficiency could be below 20% would be if the articulation array was out of alignment. Sir, the engines have been operating at less than 20% efficiency over the last duty shift. Aye, then the only way the engines can be operating at less than 20% would be if the articulation array was out of alignment. Well, the dilithium crystals aren't fractured, and we just checked, and if the test equipment is in calibration, therefore, the articulation array must be out of alignment. That's right. The procedure to conduct a realignment of the articulation array states that we need to remove the crystals temporarily, make sure that we haven't been at warp for more than two hours, and we have to first reduce power consumption by 15%. Aye. Well, we haven't been at warp for more than three hours, and therefore, all we have to do is reduce power by 15%, remove the crystals, and then we can perform the realignment of the articulation frame. Right. I'll contact the bridge to reduce power by at least 15%. Excuse me, gentlemen. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, Commander. I am very impressed. The logical arguments you two were employing were perfectly valid, and in fact, are exemplars of sound reasoning. Why, thank you, sir. Mr. Scott and Mr. Sulu, the reasoning you exhibited was perfectly valid. The two of you each put forth a logical argument containing two or more premise statements and a conclusion statement. In your arguments, the premises logically imply the conclusion. Then, in each case, you put forth evidential statements attesting to the truth of each premise in your respective arguments. Finally, you stated since your premises were true and implied your conclusions, therefore your conclusions were true. Once again, you are to be commended, gentlemen, on your perfect use of logic. I appreciate that, Mr. Spock. Aye, in engineering especially, proper logical reasoning is essential. Well said, Mr. Scott. When reasoning correctly, one must use a correct form of an argument, which contains two or more premise statements that logically imply the concluding statement. Then, one must show that each premise is true. If this is done, the conclusion must be true. It's only logical.